Yo, yo, what it do? What it is, what it ain't? It's your boy J-Rock coming through with another banger for y'all. You already know. This is the motherfucking gun channel. If you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe. Talk to me in the comments. I'll talk back. You know what I'm saying? I'm coming back with another banger. My newest pickup. Y'all already know by now. I'm coming with only straight heat. I ain't... I ain't even about to waste y'all time showing y'all some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Nah, nah, nah. We coming with straight bangers, baby. So, the newest pickup to the collection is my boy. 1911. Woo! Look at that bad motherfucker shining. As you can see, it's got that beautiful stainless steel finish. Uh, this one here is a gear sign. It's got some little classic... Nice little wood grip, uh, wood grips on there. Nothing crazy. I don't even know if these are wood, to be honest. They might be plastic. I don't even know. This this 1911 is a little bit on the cheaper side. I'm not going to lie. It's not one of the super high-end 1911s. Um, I actually bought this from a private seller. I didn't really go looking for this gun. This gun kind of found me, I guess you could say. Um, although I didn't have a 1911, so I'm sure I would have got one eventually to add to the collection, but almost dropped that motherfucker this shit is heavy i wish i could feel this bitch if i had to if i had to guess this joint probably weighing in at like maybe like six pounds or something i ain't gonna lie this joint if you didn't want to kill somebody you could just beat somebody's ass with this for sure because this it's got some it's got some weight to it um but yeah buddy was at the gun show and i was in there looking at some stuff and he must have seen me look at a 1911 or some shit like that. He's like, oh, you in the market for a 1911? I said, man, no, nah, not really. You know what I'm saying? I'm just kind of... And he whipped this shit out the bag. He was like, man, I got this gear sign, blah, blah, blah. He's like, I actually bought two of them. He's like, the one I got, you know, I fire. And um, I love it. He was like, this is a secondary one that I had laying around. It's just collected dust. He's like, I brought it, you know what I mean? See if anyone was interested. So I was like, man, let me walk around and, and, and think about that for a little bit. I ended up finding dude like an hour later. I didn't see nothing at the gun show I wanted, so I found Buddy, and I was like, man, I think I might actually be your buyer on that 1911, you know what I'm saying? So he was a cool dude. Um, I think I paid him like 500 bucks or something like that. He gave me a decent little deal, but I'm happy with this gun. I mean, I fired it a couple times, and honestly, the 1911s are like the most the most smoothest shooting guns that I've ever shot. I mean, as far as handguns go, even, even for a 45 ACP, you would think it would have some type of like crazy kickback. Like, if you haven't owned or shot a 1911 i highly highly recommend to, to shoot or and or buy one because man if you pull this hammer back and if you get this trigger pulled sometimes you could just do it by accident it's so light of a trigger pull there's almost no recoil on these bad boys so i love it man i was highly highly impressed when i went to the range and started um getting some shots off with this thing the magazines are only eight round magazines so, I mean, I have two. One of them came with the um, firearm, this black one, the Acnag. This came with the firearm. It holds eight, a 45 ACP. I went ahead and got me a, a, a secondary mag. I always try to keep at least at least two, if not three mags for every gun. Um, and this one holds eight as well. They had an extended one that held 10, but I didn't really like that. I don't really like the extended mags on these type of guns. I don't want it hanging out the bottom. I like this one. It's nice and flush with the, with the butt of the gun. Um, but I don't really carry this gun. It's like really heavy and I mean, I guess it's not really practical. Although it is a great shooter. It's a great shooter. Let me tell y'all, it is a great shooter, but I don't think it's really practical to carry. Um, I know there's some like service people that carry 45 ACPs out there. Me, I'm good with my FN, with my nine millimeter, with my, with my light laser, attack laser. Like that's all I need. That's my everyday carry. I don't think I'll ever switch it, but this gun is cool as fuck to have to own i'm super super happy that i have one and um i like i just like this thing i usually don't really keep it around i mean it's usually put up in the safe um just because i don't like to set it on certain surfaces and you know it's that stainless so i try to keep it nice but yeah for 500 bucks man i'm super happy with this um some of the other ones I were looking at online, they had the triggers with the circles in there. I wish it had the, the upgraded trigger with the circles in there. That's kind of what I wanted. But like I said, I didn't go looking for this. It just kind of found me. So um, for what I paid for it, I'm super happy with it. Um, this is just kind of like a lower end. Uh, it's a gear song. So it's kind of, it's not, it's made in Turkey. It's not, it's not a terrible weapon. I mean, I think it's great, but it's just on the lower end of the spectrum as far as the uh, 
1911. Some of those are way up there in price, like a couple grand. So this is on the low end, but honestly, for my first 1911, I'm super happy with it. I'm not gonna beat it up too crazy. I'm just gonna, you know, treat it as normal, get some shots off with it, and uh, shit, just take care of it. Probably give it to my son, you know what I mean, when he's, how, you know what I mean? Let it be his first 1911. So I'm happy with it. I wanted to go ahead and make this video today to share it with y'all. You know, I'm pretty much um, once a month with it right now. I want to get out to the range and like do some videos of me actually getting some shots off with some, some of these guns. So, but I be having my son a lot. My lady be at work and shit. So it's kind of, it's kind of hard for me to get to the range as much as I would like to. Um, but y'all stick in there with me. Uh, subscribe to the channel. I promise for sure, 100%, I'm going to get more videos up soon um, with live action. So y'all hang in there with me. But like I said, talk to me in the comments if y'all got any questions or, you know, any advice or whatever, or anything I should know about this 1911, please feel free to comment. Um, I just be trying to bring different stuff for y'all, man. Like, I just be trying to add different stuff to my collection, I, you know, different calibers, different finishes. Um, so I'm not sure where I'm going to go next. I think I got maybe one or two guns that I haven't showed you guys yet. And then I've been upgrading. I finally got my trigger on the AR and the Great Lakes is at the gun shop getting stripped down and fixed now. So I definitely got some more content for y'all coming soon. Some different things in the, on the way. So make sure y'all subscribe. But yeah, basically once a month, I just show y'all whatever gun I buy, but I'm gonna start doing more than that though. That's kind of what I've been doing, but I wanna kind of get into like the weekly videos of me like at the range, going crazy, getting y'all videos of me getting shots up. So y'all stick in there with me. Uh, like I said, comment down below. Let me know what you think about this 1911. Should I change the grips? What y'all think? I'm open to suggestions. This is the only gun that I have that I can see my reflection in. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. It's kind of hard. I'm not a mirror, a mirror all day type of nigga, but to have a gun you can see yourself in is dope. I stay wiping it down, but they're hard to keep clean. But you know, other than that, super happy with it. So like I said, let me know what y'all think. I'll be back in a couple weeks with another banger. So y'all go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Until then, I appreciate y'all for fucking with me. I'm trying to get my YouTube channel up. I'm thinking about even changing the name and adding some shit in there that has more to do with guns because this channel is specifically about guns at this point y'all subscribing y'all watching and i'm gonna keep giving y'all the content so let me know what y'all think was this a good pickup for 500 let me know till next time it is what it is over and out y'all